Hi, I'm Carl, one of the application engineers here at Teledyne LaCroix, and I would like to answer the frequently asked question, how do I set up serial data analysis software to view an eye diagram? Using the SDA3 complete link option on a Teledyne LaCroix digital oscilloscope allows us to create eye diagrams quickly and accurately. Let me show you how. Today we are using a WaveMaster ATI oscilloscope, but this answer applies to all of our Maui Extreme oscilloscopes that have the serial data analysis option. We're viewing a 3 gigabit per second SATA data stream that is being generated by the PERT Phoenix Protocol Aware Bit Error Rate Tester. To start, we select Analysis and Serial Data. Beneath the SDA tab, we check Enable SDA and check Lane 1. SDA3 Complete Link has multi-lane analysis capability so you can view, in real time, the effects multiple streams of serial data have on one another. We will be setting up one lane of data for analysis, but the steps may be repeated for each lane in use. We then select the Signal tab. We will set up the serial data inputs by choosing one or two inputs. We are viewing a differential signal where the positive side is connected to channel 1 and the negative side is connected to channel 2, so we will select input 1 minus input 2. If we were using two single-ended probes, we would select input 1 minus input 2 as well. If we were using a differential probe, we would select one input. Beneath Signal Type, we then select Serial ATA2. We then select the Clock tab. Select Find Rate Now. We check PLL on beneath PLL Setup to enable the phase locked loop to extract a more accurate clock from our serial data stream. If we were using spread spectrum clocking, we would change the PLL type to be a two pole filter. However, with SSC disabled, the default setting is adequate. Now we select the I tab. Check Enable I Measure and check Show I. We can now see our eye diagram is on the screen. We also have built-in masks, which we will enable by checking Show Mask and Show Mask Failures. We can use the PERT Phoenix to add some jitter to our SATA signal. We minimize the Extreme Oscilloscope application and enable our periodic jitter source. We now go back to the Extreme Oscilloscope application, select Normal Trigger Mode to continuously reacquire data, and we can see mask failures occurring. Error markers populate wherever the eye diagram encroaches into the mask area. This is how we set up serial data analysis to view an eye diagram. For more answers to frequently asked questions, go to teledynelacroix.com slash FAQ.